I'm RJ Nestor, business and executive coach. And in this video, I'm going to introduce smart blocks to you. Smart blocks are a feature of the Rome 42 extension to Rome Research. Smart blocks and Rome 42 uh, were created by Rome Hacker. And you can find uh, Rome Hacker at Rome Hacker on Twitter. Um, and I also have a link to his YouTube channel in the description below if you want to check out his videos. Um, Rome 42 installs in your Rome Research Graph, and thus smart blocks uh, come along with that installation. And in the description below, I also include a link to how you can uh, install Rome 42, the video that I made about that. With smart blocks, you can create workflows for commonly used blocks or sets of blocks. So if there is a workflow that you use regularly, you can turn that into a smart block, and then you have that available to call on and create it anytime and anywhere you need it in order to be able to facilitate and automate your work. Now, if this sounds a lot like the new Rome Research native templates feature, it is similar, yes. Um, and I actually have a video that compares the two and gives you an idea of when you might want to use one over the other. I'm also going to do a video down the road here that kind of shows how they can inter work, interlink with one another and you can use one, you know, smart blocks and Roam templates to uh, complement each other. Uh, but I do have a link in the description to that video where I compare them. The most fundamental difference you need to understand between templates and smart blocks is that templates, templates are static, but smart blocks have commands that you can use to make workflows dynamic, at least at the point of their creation. So when you have that workflow, it can add uh, variables and placeholders into the workflow, which makes it flexible uh, so that you can create uh, workflows that aren't just static, but that insert those variables or the placeholders and even use certain logic, certain if-then logic and things like that. With that in mind, you do not need to be a programmer to use smart blocks. It is not a programming language. Yes, of course, there are commands. Like I said, there is logic. Uh, there are commands that can bring up random blocks uh, with certain parameters. Uh, there are commands that can uh, put certain dates uh, in there with a really powerful natural language processing engine that Rome Hacker built into uh, that system so that you don't have to uh, remember any kind of coding in order to put a particular date in. Uh, it's it's very, very powerful for that, but it's not a programming language, and you certainly do not need to be a programmer. I think there's a certain level of algorithmic thinking that can be helpful if you're wanting to do more complex uh, workflows, uh, but certainly for the for just your day-to-day -day usage, it's not complex because, it, as I, I'm going to talk about in the next video, it really uses the same metaphors for laying out a block that Rome itself uses. And so the blocks and the nesting and all of that, um, as I'll show you in that next video, it's not something that's going to be completely foreign to you if you are comfortable working in Rome already. So in short, to answer the question of the video, what are smart blocks? A smart blocks is a tool with commands that can perform actions. Smart blocks is powered by a text parsing engine so it's kind of it's taking in what you have there, the natural langu language processing for certain um, certain functions that need to, to do that. And then on the output into your Rome graph, it emulates keystrokes. So smart blocks is taking in what you what it, what, what it receives there uh, and then printing into your Rome graph, which has advantages and also has disadvantages, which I'll talk about in the next video. Um, the, you know, if you have a very long workflow, it can take a little while for it actually to get there because unlike Rome, which can just put it there, Smartbox is actually writing it in. It doesn't take too long, but that is something to be aware of. And it has some things that come along with that, that, that you'll need to understand. So in that next video, and you'll find the link in the description below, I'll show you how to create a simple Smartbox workflow. For now, I just want to make sure that you understand that you can run existing workflows by typing JJ, and then choosing that workflow from the pop-up menu. So that looks like this. I hit JJ, and you'll see that all of my workflows, including some that just have some mention uh, of SmartBlock here, um, 
are here within that. Some of these are ones that I've tested with. Some of these ones that I use on a very regular basis, some daily, some more than once a day. So when you type JJ, it used to be I, semicolon, semicolon, but the Rome templates have taken over semicolon, semicolon. So now it is JJ. But if you have an existing smart block, and I will show you in the next video how to build those, JJ is how you call them up. So in short, smart blocks are, um, are feature along with the Rome 42 extension created by Rome Hacker. It's a tool with commands that allows you to take uh, existing blocks uh, and convert them into a workflow that you can call upon regularly. And because of those commands, smart blocks can be dynamic in ways that native Rome, tem Rome templates cannot be. So that's your basic understanding of what smart blocks can do for you. Uh, and then in the next video, I'm going to show you how to set one up.